Hi, hey people, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. How are you? I am here in my kitchen. I have Jamie with me in my kitchen via telephone. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Lisa. I hope one day you can actually be in my kitchen again. Oh, me too. <laughs> when will that day be? Um, how, how's everybody doing? What's going on? I see Jennifer just showed up. Regina's here, like clockwork. She's the best. We've got um, Amy and Natalie and people whose names I can't see. Is that Gina? No, it's, guess what? I think it's Gina's mom. Gina's mom beat Gina into, the, into this live. How can that be, Jamie? She's on it. <laughs> it's Gina's mom. All right. So if you uh, have been paying attention, you know that today I'm going to be making carrot cake in a mug. I am so excited about this recipe. You know, I was thinking about developing a carrot cake in a mug and I was looking back at a lot of the Hungry Girl carrot cake recipes that we've done in the past. And a lot of them are like shortcut recipes. They're sort of like cheat recipes. Jamie, remember we used to like add some stuff to spice cake or yellow cake? And it's good, it's good, but I think this one's even better and you can make it in a mug today. I have my trusty Dateline mug. People want to know about this mug. It's a 16 ounce wide bottomed mug. See that? It has a wide bottom. Should I say the joke? Give it. <laughs> All right. It has a wide bottom, but you won't if you eat my mug cakes. Okay. Uh, cute, right? Anyway, this is my Dateline mug and I'm making carrot cake in a mug. Why do I have these here? You're probably thinking, are you using these crunchy carrots? No. I just thought if you guys are carrot fans, this is something I found at Trader Joe's the other day that I absolutely love. Jamie, have you seen these? Yes, they're fantastic. They're amazing. They're organic carrots of many colors. They're dehydrated rainbow carrots. What I like most about it is that this whole bag has 140 calories, so whatever. I don't work for Trader Joe's. I have no affiliation with Trader Joe's. I just think they're brilliant and I love them. So, you know, check these organic carrots out. If you're a carrot fan, don't put them in your carrot cake. Whatever you do. So, a uh, few things. Before I start, I want to say you should be getting the Hungry Girl daily emails every single Monday to Friday. If you don't, you should sign up and you can do that at hungry-girl.com. If you like what you see here and you're interested in some of the products that I'm using, um, Jamie is going to post a link during this live to where you can get some of those things. You can always see my live recipes at hungry-girl.com slash live. You could also see the link to get the things at that same place. So it'll all be there for you because we love you. So this recipe tonight, I'm giving away prizes already, already I gave it away. This says carrot cake is technically a vegetable, right? Right? I used to make fun of people who said things like that, but then I needed something for my artwork. So I said, okay, I'll just use that. <laughs> and then it says, chew the right thing. So if you want to win this, all you have to do is interact with us, answer questions. I'm gonna have trivia questions. Um, if you answer correctly or incorrectly, it does not matter. Either way, you will be eligible to win this or Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons, which you guys know and love. Jamie, do you have these? I do. <laughs> do you I'm use one them? Of the lucky ones. You, I guess you are. I use these like 100 times a day. I have two sets in my house. Um, if you wanna to try to win these, you can just interact with us, like, click like, click hearts, and of course, share. How good does it feel to share these recipes? So good, right? Jamie, I know you even share these all the time because you're amazing. All right, you could win these spoons, and um, I would like to maybe give away Bam Bam too because she's crying in the background. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so tonight's recipe has a lot of ingredients, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I say it's a two ingredient recipe or a three ingredient recipe. Um, but this recipe has 13 ingredients and I'm gonna rattle them off, specifically for super fan Amanda in Newburgh, New York, who I know is in every single Hungry Girl Facebook Live and she's just sitting there saying, why does Lisa never acknowledge me? So super fan Amanda in Newburgh, New York. I love you and I really appreciate that, that you come to all of these. And I'm gonna tell you all the ingredients just for you. So tonight's recipe uses flour, oats, brown sugar swerve, cinnamon, nutmeg, a dash of salt, baking powder, carrots, applesauce, egg beaters, crushed pineapple, raisins, and a little vanilla. And of course, whipped topping. 
It's actually 14 ingredients, I lied. That's a lot, but don't be intimidated because these are things that you either have in your house or that you could easily get in your house, right? Admit it. All right, I have my Hello Kitty microwave in place of my blender, so I've moved to a different part of the kitchen. I don't know if anyone noticed that. If you really are a super fan, maybe you notice that, but I'm gonna start building my cake. And carrot cake, Jamie, are you a fan? You a fan? I, I yeah. love it. I love my it too. Cake. I love it too. I mean, usually though, even though it's made with carrots, technically, um, it's super high in calories and fat and it's very dense, but this one is pretty light. It only is gonna have 205 calories. And I'm gonna tell you why as I, as I make this cake. So I have my mug, which I have sprayed, of course, with my Pam nonstick cooking spray. And I'm gonna add three tablespoons of flour. Tonight I'm using whole wheat flour because luckily my supermarket now has it again. For a while during the pandemic, there was no whole wheat flour to be found. I don't know if you guys had that same issue. I totally did. Now, in addition to flour, I'm gonna use oats, which are gonna add nice texture and bulk it up a little bit. So two tablespoons. And look at my oats, please. Look at the size of this canister of oats. Hold on, there's Larry. Do you see Larry? He looks hot. <laughs> oh, Larry. So we have, I'm adding all like my dry ingredients to the mug now, my sprayed mug. So I've got my oats. I have my flour. Next up, this is like the superstar ingredient of my life and my kitchen right now. If you have tried this stuff, let me know right now. Tell me, hey, I've tried this. If you've not tried it, say, hey, Lisa, I am so embarrassed. I have not tried this brown sugar swerve, but I'm going to. So you're gonna need a tablespoon of this. It just works exactly like brown sugar. They say it has no calories per, what, what is it, per teaspoon, so I'm just going with it, and I'm saying no calories per teaspoon. So we have a tablespoon of that, smells amazing. Next up, we need a little baking powder, just a quarter teaspoon. What's going on out there? Anything exciting happening in your neck of the woods? Not we here. Some Good, smart people, smart people. <laughs> okay. We are getting questions about your shirt. Where can I get your shirt? Oh, this shirt is, uh, it's Aviator Nation and it was a gift. This is like a, it's my favorite sweatshirt company. But thank you, look at all the, it's kind of orange. Um, okay, half teaspoon of cinnamon, because we love cinnamon. Now I don't love nutmeg, but nutmeg is very much a carrot cake thing. So I'm only using an eighth, like an eighth, a little bit. So this is like, boop, there's my nutmeg. That is powerful, whoa. And a dash of salt just to balance out the sweetness. Now we're gonna mix this together. Things in California, they're crazy here. I don't know what's going on, but we might get on another lockdown, like completely. It's kind of scary. That means maybe I should go live twice a day and make tons of food. <laughs> it could happen. Is that, is, that, is that whole mug gonna be one serving? Yes, this whole mug, like all my mug cakes, pretty much, or one serving. I can't think of any that aren't. And it's gonna have 205 calories and only like a gram and a half of fat, which is crazy. So I've mixed these ingredients together. These are my dry ingredients before I get to the other ingredients. And there are a lot of them. I'm going to ask my first trivia question. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, Jamie? I'm ready to Google. Okay, ready to Google. <laughs> Carrot cake, one of the most popular items at the Cheesecake Factory. It is the biggest shopper of all time. How many calories are in a slice of the carrot cake in the Cheesecake Factory world? So if you go to the Cheesecake Factory and order, hey, you know, I want a piece of carrot cake, how many calories are showing up on that plate? Let me know, that's trivia question one. By the way, you know what I learned today? I learned that people used carrots and cake a long time ago, like in the Middle Ages, because sugar like was hard to come by and carrots were sweet and it was easier to get them. Isn't that interesting? Wow. Yeah. And speaking of carrots, here they are. They are the superstar of the recipe, sort of, only two tablespoons, grated carrots. So I used for this recipe, it's about two baby carrots, these guys. I'm sure you're all familiar with them. That's what I used, organic, cut, and peeled. And then I used that. I did that before you guys got here because I didn't want to bore you with the carrot grating. 
Okay. Now we're going to use just a tablespoon of egg beaters or egg whites or whatever egg situation you feel comfortable using. Can you see this? Can you see my mug? Yes. And then the next lovely thing I'm throwing in here is applesauce. This is the same group of applesauce. Remember I used it the other day? I, I froze this puck and I made a great apple pie shake with it. It was so yummy. And this is crushed pineapple in its own juice. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of this and I wanna keep the juice in there, don't drain it because the juice is a good thing because there's not a lot of liquid in this recipe at all. So we like the juice from the pineapple. Next, we're gonna use a half teaspoon of vanilla. This is my Watkins baking vanilla. Okay. And we've got a lot of guesses for the trivia. Okay. What, what's... Anywhere from 750 to 2,500 calories. What? Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer. I think it used to be higher because I remember a number that was a little higher, but it's 1,510 calories. 1,510 calories. Okay, my final ingredient that's going in here, raisins. So I have a tablespoon of chopped golden raisins. You can use whatever raisins you like. Now, a lot of people don't love raisins. A lot of people don't love pineapple. I find that the raisins and the pineapple make this carrot cake so much better. Also, a lot of people use chopped walnuts. If you do that, you're gonna add a bunch of fat and calories, but if you like it, this cake, no matter what you do to this, it's never gonna be 1,510 calories. Unless you eat like five of them or 10 of them or whatever. Now we're gonna mix this all together. So do you, can you see inside that mug? This is 13 of the world's finest ingredients all in one place. It's pretty. And you just wanna mix this together nicely until it's, the thing about the mug cakes, you wanna pay attention to how you mix them because sometimes if there's flour at the bottom and you make the cake and then sometimes you like, you want your cake to be beautiful and then you dump the cake out when you want it to cool and you see there's like lumps of flour on the bottom. So we don't like that, do we? No. No, we don't. All right, are you ready for another trivia question? I think I have one. Okay. True or false? If you eat too many carrots, you might turn yellow or orange. True or false? If you eat a lot of carrots, will you possibly turn yellow and or orange? <laughs> Jamie, do you have guesses on that? I have a definitive answer on that. You do? Well, uh, why, has it happened to you? <laughs> Hold, it. Hold it, save it, okay. My carrot cake looks absolutely beautiful, whatever. My carrot cake batter, I should say. I'm gonna, hold on, I want every bit of this because I want the proper amount. I wanna eat every bit of this. I'll probably have it for breakfast tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna put this in my Hello Kitty microwave. Hang on. And remember, we're, uh, we're playing to win this tonight and if you like it, let me know because it is pretty cute. Um, in my Hello Kitty microwave, it's gonna go in for about a minute 45 to two minutes. And you can just check it and see how it's doing after a minute 30. I think everyone's microwave works a little bit differently. I always joke about my Hello Kitty microwave because it's from like 1999 and I got it at the mall for like $35 and I'm shocked that it still functions, but there you go. So um, does anybody think they're gonna turn orange if they eat too many carrots? By the way, there's not a lot of carrots in this recipe so you don't have to worry about turning all sorts of colors. A lot of people like me are chiming in that they know someone who this happened to. They, but no one's admitting that it's actually them. No, my mom, my child, <laughs> no one's saying it's them. Yes, I heard actually, if you're like a Partridge Family fan, I heard that, I don't know if it's true at all, but I heard that Susan Day used to eat so many carrots when she was younger that her fingers, her hands turned orange. But I don't know if it's true. All I know is that in one episode, she heard the Rolling Stones playing on her braces. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And then, of course, I wanted braces, and I never actually had them. But I could actually use them on my bottom teeth. See? Okay. Maybe one day. Um, any other questions out there? Oh, someone said carrots are good for your eyes. Did you know oh, that? So here's the deal with carrots and what they do for your eyes. Because a lot of people say that if they eat carrots, it's going to improve their vision. Apparently, vitamin A, that's the reason why carrots are good for your vision. And... Carrots are high in vitamin A, but they can't sort of cure your vision, but they can keep your eyes healthy. They won't do anything to improve your eye health, they'll just keep them healthy. That is what I read. 
but if there are any optometrists and ophthalmologists out there in the audience, please feel free to correct me because certainly I am not either one of those things. Lisa, how many points are in this recipe? Oh, that's a really good question. So this recipe has on green and blue, five points, on purple, four points. So if you're on purple, this is your lucky day. That's really low, actually, for a, a carrot yeah. cake. Wow, that's impressive. Who out there is on who's counting points? Probably like half, more than half the people out there. How's Amanda from Newburgh? Are you still awake or did you fall asleep? <laughs> Dana, are you out there? Hold on. Oh. Dana's here. Dana. Oh yeah, this looks good. Look at that. All right, so this does puff up a lot and the cake, I've used my Dateline mug for this cake, but then first of all, look at, look at all the steam. Can you see in there? That is, it smells like fall. That's all I'm gonna say. It certainly feels like summer, but it smells like fall. Um, and I'm gonna show you what I did because I, when you, all right, when you're done with this, you wanna carefully, I use like the edge of a spoon or a fork to just carefully go around the edges and then I pop the cake out in the plate. And I made this about an hour ago. Now this one was in a wider bottomed mug, so it's a little bit flatter. Um, but it's wider and so this is the size of it. It's pretty big. Look at this. Doesn't that look impressive? Very impressive. Very impressive. Lisa, where can they find this recipe when you're done? All right, so when you want to find this recipe because you did not memorize all 13 ingredients, you can go to hungry-girl.com slash live. And do I have any other trivia questions? Okay, what U.S. state produces the most carrots? Now, the United States does not produce the most carrots in the world. I think it's China that does, but we produce a lot of carrots, but there is one state in particular that is responsible for 63% of the carrots in all of the United States. Do you know what state that is? If you do, you could be eligible to win a prize, such as, but not limited to, these measuring spoons or this beautiful piece of artwork that you can hang in your kitchen or your office or wherever it is you hang out. All right, so this is the cake that I made. Now I'm gonna show you how we finish it off. Because I also wanted to save some calories and I didn't wanna do like a heavy, thick frosting with cheesecake or cream cheese, but believe me, you could do a light cream cheese frosting with some light whipped cream cheese and a little bit of swerve confectioner, confectioner sugar and a little bit of vanilla there, and a little bit of whip. Like it, there's a way to do it and not add too many calories, but I'm not doing that today because I really want to add fewer calories and I'm using this five calorie fat free ready whip, which is another one of my favorite things. And you see me use it all the time. So that's what that looks like. But in addition, I'm gonna sprinkle a little extra cinnamon on top because I can and because it's delicious. Look how pretty. Nice, right? Delicious. I have to take my selfie with this, but I'm on the phone with you, Jamie. Take the selfie. I, I'll do it right after, but look at that. You see that big piece of pineapple just poking out saying, hey, Amanda from Newburgh. <laughs> That's what the pineapple's saying. Um, anyway, so this is it, 205 calories. This is just gorgeous and amazing. And I am glad you put me up for the challenge because I did post on the Hungry Girl Facebook page in the group and I said, what do you want to see me make? And a few people said carrot cake, carrot cake, carrot cake. And so I did. Hey, Jeff Hacker. Look, it's Jeff Lisa, Hacker. Lisa, don't leave us hanging. Where are the carrots produced? California. Where else? <laughs> did anybody guess that? Yes. Okay, good. California produces a lot of stuff. I think we, like, we grow most of the strawberries also in the whole country. So we are very busy here. Um, anything else before I sign off? I, I do want to say thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to get notified, click get notified when I'm live, and you will. If you want to not miss anything, Hungry Girl, you should sign up for the daily emails. If you want to, just like I talked about this Trader Joe's thing, if you want like a bazillion other Trader Joe's ideas, we do have a podcast tomorrow that's uh, coming up. It goes up early in the morning, um, or maybe even late at night, but it's our Trader Joe's haul, brand new. So it's me and Mikey and Jamie trying out a whole bunch of stuff from Trader Joe's. Um, and you can get all the recipes that you see here on Facebook Live by going to hungry-girl.com slash live. So what did I miss? Anything? That's all. The, 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 the. going to get the recipe. 
Exactly. Yeah, just go get it and make it. And if you don't have the ingredients, just go get them. No big deal. Um, I'm going to go to the farmer's market now. So you guys have a great and safe night. I will be back tomorrow night with a banana caramel coffee freeze, which is a delicious recipe. And if you like coffee and banana and caramel, I'll be back tomorrow with that. Then I'll be back on Thursday with um, a peanut butter and jelly recipe that I think you will love. Do you hear that, Mikey? Peanut butter. <laughs> I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.